and welcome everybody. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and welcome to my mess on my table. I am uh, working on this Christmas journal and I was thinking maybe you would like to join me. Uh, I need to finish front and back cover insides and I was thinking I'm gonna create some pockets because otherwise it will look quite plain and also I'm missing some small decoration something like clusters like I created here so maybe today I'm not sure if I will do clusters as well but uh, I definitely want to do uh, some of these pockets and then probably clusters so we will see uh, I did create this journal and the base of that journal it's same uh, like my Halloween folio so if you watch that uh, tutorial or tutorials that there was five videos where I was creating that Halloween journal uh, the inside is exactly same I just added to <clears throat> every those quarter gaps I added writing papers and also the cover I created kind of like just half cover that uh, second spine here and flap here I I didn't create that I created just that base here but uh, the rest is exactly same like it was in that Halloween folio so uh, if you watch that you know that it's following exactly same tutorial if you didn't watch that you can go to have a look and you can use any kind of papers uh, the papers of you of your like and create some journal with many openings and if you will sew writing papers to those gaps uh, quarter gaps between pockets you will have a really beautiful and very big <laughs> writing journal for christmas or for any kind of occasion and i'm gonna create some uh, some of these pockets i've got here these gorgeous papers I will have to have a look if I do have front cover. I don't remember uh, the company. I think it is a Dawcraft Red Robin collection. But I'm not sure if I do remember that right. But I really think it's Dawcraft Red Robin collection. So I do have here my offcuts from making the that basic in my journal. I do have here a few types of envelopes. And I would like to create, even here, I would like to create some kind of multi-openings because I just love that, especially on Christmas team journal. Uh, it's like when you're opening your gifts, you know, that that waiting and that excitement, what else you will find. So it's always amazing. So I'm going to get up a few envelopes. And I will try to put some kind of layers using these envelopes. Some stack of envelopes just, you know, to make a layer. And then I will put them together. We could here also this big envelope. Maybe that will be also good to use. You know to create another pocket like large pocket here why oh, I, I would love that so on the base i will use this large envelope because it's actually fitting nicely to my page and the rest i will create from these three envelopes and create some multi opening here and for decorating those envelopes i'm gonna be using the same papers i used in this journal and also book pages. I love to use book pages. Uh, they are always looks nice, no matter what kind of theme or you know uh, the time related to the journal. It always looks amazing. So I'm gonna start with layering first, and then I will reinforce these envelopes. I'm guessing. So this first one. It will be in the spine but I do have here quite large pocket with a big space here between folding and uh, between entry to that pocket so I can place it this way it will be not hard to get into that pocket 
So first I'm gonna glue this to make sure it will stay folded. So this one I'm gonna actually glue it with a book page I guess. Kind of like extend that envelope and glue it together with this first one with a book page to have entry from this side. Not from here but from this side I'm thinking. So first the book page is inside to make sure that my envelope will stay still, will don't get rip, ripped off. So I'm gonna put some book pages, glue them inside and reinforce the envelope with it. It doesn't have to be covered all the way because uh, I will use decorative papers on it later on. gonna be actually it for this and then I'm gonna place the glue and my sons are actually excited that I'm gonna be cooking or cooking the baking again I didn't bake for a long time because I I was telling them that I'm gonna be fat you you are not eating them <laughs> all these cakes and stuff like that and then I am eating it only and then I'm getting fat, but you know, at Christmas time, I am allowing myself to, <laughs> to eat those cookies. So I do have reinforced this one. And now this envelope. And as I said, I'm gonna be using envelope for gluing it together with this uh, other envelope. So first, I'm gonna cut the book page slightly smaller right here. I'm thinking that that will be exactly what I need. I'm gonna fold this. This will be glued anyway, so it's okay if I will fold it now. I wanna create same entry or draw some entry like I do have here on that envelope. So I'm gonna slide it in. And draw that pattern. Oh, not with white wood. That will be interesting, this one. And I really hope this year will be snow through the Christmas time. I know that in Montana, I think it's already, in Montana it's already snowed in, I think. My dear friend Evie, she wrote me message that they are already snowed in. That's quite amazing, you know, I love snow. I'm, I'm not sure if I will love it this year because of all that crisis with gas and heating. So hopefully everything will get sorted. I don't want to get freeze. But I do love snow, especially on Christmas time. Everything looks peaceful and so quiet and nice and sparkle. <laughs> and when I'm talking about Evie, uh, Evie Spade, she does have YouTube channel and she does have also Etsy. And if you haven't visit her Etsy lately. I was so lucky to grab one of her gorgeous journals. So if you didn't see her Etsy yet, or you haven't been there, now go to have a look. Evie does have new stuff on her Etsy and her journals are gorgeous. Really gorgeous. So I'm waiting for my beautiful, gorgeous journal from Evie. Where I will place it this way. So I'm going to glue these two together with that book page and from this side I think I'm going to just reinforce it for now with uh, medical tape. It's uh, very transparent so it's perfect.
cover these spots because it's invisible kind of ish and it's holding really nicely and now I can fold it okay ah see I'm glad I'm trying that now because this envelope it's longer than this envelope so I will have to think about that in that case I will place my small envelope not over the edge but on my large envelope and this Okay, I'm gonna do it slightly different way than I thought. This I'm gonna glue here over the edge. Well, now I know what I want. Now I know what I want for Christmas. <laughs> I don't know actually. I'm not sure what I want for Christmas. So this will be here and this will be here. Perfect. Okay, first I'm gonna decorate that large one and I'm gonna take these snowflake papers. They are so lovely. So first I'm gonna make a mark and cut the paper in the uh, slightly smaller, I think one quarter of inch smaller than is my envelope so I know I can fit in it. So I'm gonna cut the paper right here. So I do have cut that paper in the size which I can fit on my envelope and I realize that because I didn't see this bigger than my DL envelope before. I can now create an extra pocket, <laughs> which is quite great. So what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna cut this paper in the size which will fit here. I'm gonna cut it slightly uh, shorter, I think about one inch shorter. Yeah, about one inch shorter. Oh, somewhere here oops somewhere here I'm gonna cut that paper and I'm gonna create another pocket because there is never enough pockets in my <laughs> journals they are always like big surprise even for me so if I will do this one here I'm gonna cut the entry again so again I'm gonna slide the paper inside just to that edge go on go there like this draw the pattern and cut the pattern here If I will find my scissors. Ah, there they are. So cut the pattern here. And I will have to use distress ink for these papers a little bit more than for others because the background of these star papers it's quite white, which is not matching too much the rest of those papers. So here I'm gonna be using a little bit more of distress ink so I will put the paper this way and therefore I can glue the envelope underneath the envelope will reinforce this edge of that paper so if I will glue that, that envelope to that paper and then glue this decorative paper just on these three sides glue it down that way I will have entry from here 
Okay, so I'm gonna start to distress all my pieces and I'm gonna be using again ground espresso distress ink and distress actually all edges on all these pieces. So I do have distress edges on that large envelope and on these two pieces, this is that off cut and same like before, I'm gonna be using it, uh, I mean before I mean that Halloween one, I'm gonna be using it to decorate my envelope here. So use my stuff, right? Use any kind of off cuts and leftovers to decorate that rest. And here you can see how much better way the paper looks together with the rest of the book. I place it under my magazines. So all these papers are in vintage style and these stars were quite uh, like too bright. So with the distress ink it's getting much better together. So here will be this one and I'm gonna make a mark for myself this way. And I'm gonna distress this spot a little bit more. To make, um, to avoid, you know, bright, very white, bright, shining that envelope through once I will have there the pocket. And here I will have decorative paper as well. So I have this one and here I will have this one. Now these envelopes. So I have distressed these two envelopes as well from both sides and here where I will have my kind of like flipping and flapping. Uh, here I would like to create frame. Uh, on this DL envelope, this large one. So as a background, I would like to cover the window which is going to that envelope. So here on the top, I'm gonna be gluing this uh, this book page and then always taking this empty one. And then I will create from those decorative papers, I will create um, some frame. So the book page will be somewhere here, I'm guessing, by size, right here. And cut, cut off any kind of excess. And I'm gonna distress the egg here as well. It will be probably invisible because uh, I will have there that, um, that frame. But to make sure it's all matching. I'm using here this uh, nail file just to sand the edge of that book page to make sure it's nice and even with the edge of my envelope. And now I can choose some paper. So if underneath will be the red one. So what I'm going to use for the frame, there will be the red one, so for the frame 
Oh, it can be nice to have green frame. I'm gonna be using this paper. <coughs> Pardon me. So from oh, <laughs> so from this paper, I'm gonna cut the piece same as it is my envelope here. So I can just slide it there and use my scissors, ah, scissors here, scissors, and cut the paper around. And now I can cut the window in that in that paper. And I think I would like to have kind of like decorative window, but I don't have dye, which will make that decorative window. So <laughs> it will be reinforced with the acetate sheet inside anyway. So I'm going to fold it half, draw some pattern. I'm thinking... Something like this, some waves, and cut the paper. So I do have this piece and I do have a very strange frame. So I'm going to reinforce it with acetate sheet. I'm gonna put that acetate sheet on all that piece. So I did reinforce my frame with acetate piece and I put acetate piece on all that space here. And for decorative, like decorative element, I did sewn all around with zigzag stitching. And before I will glue it down, I also added a double sided tape on these three sides. So entry to that frame will be from here. So this one, will be kind of like closure for that frame and before I will <laughs> glue it down uh, I do have here these uh, hole reinforcers and I'm thinking to decorate also corners oh, come on come on decorate also corners with eyelets but before I will put their eyelets I'm gonna use these uh, reinforcing circles distress them first with that ground espresso distress ink well I think my ink this is the ink I'm using quite often so right now it's quite dry so I can go with full pad I will have to re-ink it. So now I can put these reinforcing circles into the corners. So it will be kind of like another layer. They are not too much visible, but they will be visible. I'm not sure if, if that makes sense. It will make another layer on my frame, something small but decorative. Hopefully I place them ish straight. So now I can punch the holes, fix those eyelets, and then I can then I can fix that frame. On my envelope. So now I can fix 
those eyelets. And because I will be gluing it down on double-sided tape, I'm going to also squeeze those eyelets with my pliers to make them really flat. Like this from both sides. So I do have all my eyelets fixed and I'm gonna also add there one of these labels I got from Etsy. Christmas time we do have work especially on Christmas time <laughs> it can be Santa's workroom so that's gonna be here This can be right here. And I'm gonna glue it to my envelope. I'm gonna lift up this one to make sure I'm, I'm not gonna go with that frame over the fold so I will be able to close this envelope I'm gonna take it this way and place my frame right here holding nicely I'm gonna flip it over this will be glued here so here on this panel I'm gonna use the exactly same paper kind of like continue the pattern so I'm just gonna cut the paper in the size I need here and glue it down this I will do it just very simple just glue it down So I just gonna glue it right here. I added also that zigzag stitching all around. You know, it's good to touch it and it looks quite cute with that zigzag all around. And I can always add there some decorations. I did uh, add zigzag stitching around these three sides here as well. So I I'm thinking I can already glue it, glue these two together. So I'm gonna put the glue there and oops, we don't play, we don't play too low. I think this way. Okay, and I can glue it on this spot. So I'm gonna grab my glue here at this end. I'm gonna cover with medical tape. It's 
just to make sure that it will be not on the way when I will slide in and out some inserts. That medical tape holds really nicely. And it will cover beautifully the edges of, of that envelope and that book page. So on these three sides, I'm gonna put the glue because this will be glued right here. I've got here this part which I can glue right here So on this end, I'm gonna add the same paper like I've got uh, on that envelope here. So I'm gonna add the same paper here. Just the piece I need to cover the spot between edge of my envelope and entry to that pockets from here. And of course, match it all together. I'm gonna distress this small piece with that ground espresso and then I will make that sewing effect all around and I'm ready to go I'm ready to glue it right here so then I will have entry to that pocket from this side I will have pocket here frame here Another pocket here and another pocket here. So it will be pocket, 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 pocket on the pocket. And we will create a few more. So I'm gonna glue this small piece. Here and on the top something. I've got so many of these off cuts. Hmm. Oh, okay, this one. Well, I may be. I may will use not actually pocket I may will use one of the postcards wait this is too big that's so shame I <laughs> try to do my my Christmas uh, like card you know <laughs> I'm so terrible with cards but I'm trying I'm trying and I have to say that I do enjoy it to create cards I love this picture so I'm gonna cut the postcard and use the postcard and under postcard I'm gonna be using a book page because I do love book pages and I think it will looks amazing on this spot so 
So all links for things I'm using, if you can buy them somewhere, I will put links down below. I will also try to have a look if I will find this collection, but as I said, it's probably three, four years old collection, so maybe it's not on the market anymore. Okay. Oh yeah, he will be gorgeous on that pocket. So first, I'm gonna grab my book page. Cut the book page. And of course, I'm gonna add stitching on both these pieces because I love that look. Well, I actually decided to go <laughs> on that book page with my beautiful washi tape and uh, add there the frame using this washi tape because it's a really gorgeous washi tape. I like that writing and I think it will look amazing. So I'm gonna add the washi tape I will add the stitching on the Santa or Saint Nicholas. And that will make my kind of decoration on that front. So if I will, oh yes, I will like it much more with that writing all around. So I'm gonna sew it together, I'm guessing. So that inside, I'm gonna add the glue, glue it here and then sew it on the edges of the St. Nicholas. So I'm gonna be using this one as another pocket and I'm gonna add the glue on three sides and that way I'm gonna create top loaded pocket using this picture so some tack I can add inside with small notes or maybe weekly planner you know weekly planner uh, tack or shopping tag, you know, some, some small notes right here. So it will be opening this way, pocket here, pocket here behind, opening that way, pocket here and also, yeah, pocket here, I forgot. Here we do have envelope, pocket here and pocket here. Pocket here, so first I'm gonna add book pages into that large envelope and kind of cover this sticky uh, sticky side
and another one. Cut it around. Put it here. And what kind of paper I'm gonna add there? It will maybe will be even good if I will use only washi tape. I'm gonna give it a try actually. Maybe that will be not a bad idea if I will put washi tape here. Okay, it's got stick so it belongs there. Washi tape, and then I do have one more. Which one I'm gonna use? I'm gonna be using this. This is a uh, very teeny small. No, I wanna have that quite, um, you know, more visible, which will be this ho ho ho. If I will find the end, oh, it's here. Somewhere. Ah, there you go. There you go. So this will be kind of finishing the look of that flap. Hopefully it will go well. We will see. Oh yes, I like it. I like this writing all around. It's going quite nicely together. So I do have my opening here. Come on, hold. Opening here. Pocket. Pocket. Opening here and pocket and pocket. And I would like to have something here. This is too red. So on this spot, this is also from, I think, three years ago when I made coffee, uh, coffee packs. So I do have a few leftovers. Maybe I can use that or just these. Uh, this year I do have so many washi tapes, so I'm gonna be using many washi tapes. First, strip of book page, because I do have book pages everywhere. So, strip of book page. Then my washi tape. Add there some kind of color. Okay. Maybe lace could be nice. There, that softness. Okie dokie. Why not? Some numbers, because I like numbers. I like the look of them on my projects. And maybe from these post postmarks something. No, maybe some grey one because if there is too much red.
-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this gray picture. I just will slide it yeah behind that behind that lace. That lace it's quite beautiful. So I'm gonna slide that postmark behind that lace a little bit up. Where is that? There you are. And my little snowflake. She doesn't want to go there. So this one and maybe one small one on the top. No, I'm thinking this is a small one here, and I'm gonna keep it this way. Just to calm down a little bit that red color. And I think I'm done with this. So now I can add it to my journal. I'm gonna just have a look. Oh yeah, I think that will be really nice here. Oh yes, I will like it here. So I'm gonna add on all the background. I'm gonna add the glue to make sure all that envelope will get glued properly and will hold nicely. So first I'm gonna add the glue with this glue stick. And to the ends I'm gonna add this liquid glue to make sure that all is covered with glue. And just place my Santa, Saint Nicholas, right here. I think that that's all what I will do here. I'm gonna have a look if I can slide my first postcard <laughs> or Christmas card here. I can actually look at that, how big it is. So I can slide it from this side to that pocket or I can place it to that envelope, which is totally different and bigger pocket, perfect. And here I do have St. Nicholas. Here I will have space and so many other pockets. And I think I'm done for today. This was quite a quite longer process. I believe that video will be very long. So that's all my sharing for today. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give me thumbs up, subscribe. To make sure you will get another sharing from me. Share my video with your uh, friends. And uh, on your social media. I will appreciate that very much. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself. And I will see you soon. Bye.